barbell today. It is Monday. Thank God today is squat, and fortunately for us, game day has allowed us to come in and train today. We have quite a bit of people to train with today. We just got here from San Antonio. It was a pretty easy drive. We got squats. I have a double at seven. The prof, what do you got, Mikey? Double at seven. Probably like 300. That's what I want it. I have a couple of numbers in mind, but obviously for me, it's about a range. So at the beginning of this block, I did have a double, I 870 for two. Um, obviously now I'm a little bit more primed for that. So we'll just see what we're gonna hit. I think Pablo, Pablo's, he had a seven last week, right? But he just hit a big top set. So it's gonna be exciting to see where his legs feel going into today's single. We're just gonna have fun. We're gonna warm up. We're gonna just do our thing. You know, we have a lot of personalities here today, but we're professional. So we're gonna do our best to limit that and we're just gonna do our thing we're training for worlds so you know it's nice to have other people here you know we got Omar but we're just here to get shit cracked what is that bro it's the Nickelodeon store this tastes good man what did you have in mind well, we were, we were wondering if you've been a Cabo Bob. Oh, yeah, I've been a Cabo Bob. Oh, okay. There, I didn't impressed. know there he's was not, uh, He's not impressed. Uh, I didn't know there was one here in Austin. There? So starting to feel a little better. I got a lot warming up. Quads were feeling super fatigued, but put the knee sleeves on, put my belt on, just music, you know, mouthpiece, and starting to come alive. So right now, I definitely feel like I'm gonna be able to hit what I wanna hit. So I'm feeling pretty good, man. We got the show rolling, we got whatever. It don't matter. We got noise, we got people here, but we got one thing to do. We got the job to do, so let's do it done. All right, bro, you said you want to hit 400 today, bro? Make up your fucking mind. I'm making my mind up. We'll see. This is fucking pussy shit, bro. You got to right. separate yourself. So come on. I'm way ahead of you, bro. I ain't bro. just doing this to the party. It's right. me and you. Bro, let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's have a good session today. Come on. I 
said, if you don't take this serious, and that's the difference between y'all super heavyweights and me and Jesus. This ain't just a hobby to us. And that's the difference between greatness and average. So pretty much what happened is when you're under that much weight, like your mind, it's kind of hard to see precise spots. So you have certain cues that help you just feel out of familiarity where to stop that first step. And for Pablo, and for me, for myself, it's like you pick your foot up and you just kind of like, you feel it to where it's like parallel with your opposite foot. But he just kind of missed like that toe graze where that friction tells his brain to put his foot down. But I mean, hey man, man that move, that's the best 804 Pablo's ever moved. So it's going to be crazy to see yeah. what this man squats on his next attempt. PR? Some mathematician had to come up with that. There, bro. So, 804 was good. I just need to make sure that my technique is on point. Account for every step, every second of this squat, and I'm gonna go for 400 kg. If I can hit, well, I'm not. Do the exact same thing you've been doing today because today is the strongest I've ever seen you. You make 716 move like RP0, 804 look like you could hit it for five. Make, you shouldn't be asking yourself, can you do this? No, I'm still very confident. You should be asking yourself, how fast can you move it? Make this shit move like a goddamn second attempt. Fucking destroy all of them. Let's go. Let's go. I just told him that he shouldn't be asking himself if he can move it, that he should be asking himself how fast he can move it. And then I was just telling him that this is what I want to give for a second attempt in yep. September. Yep. So he's got to move with some authority. Yes. I know it was a very vulgar expression, but from this, it's very important to begin to establish a scenario you want to come to realization in the future. It's like self-fulfilling prophecy. Tell yourself you can move it at a certain speed so that way this is in that special round where you put mentality, spirituality, physicality, uh, your emotions. This is where all those four things meet and you make something happen. And I'm a firm believer that once you surpass like a limit physically, it's like a lot easier to hit it again the second time. So it's just Pablo Strong today. Yeah. I've seen him hit 870 with a lot slower last warm up. So I just think right now, because Pablo's very emotional, so yeah. he needs to stoke the flames while giving the shape. Yeah. But I mean, I, I think he's going to move it. Um, I wouldn't expect anything less.
an all time PR. I think I could have done 14. No! Dang, I broke the OGs, bro. Had these for three years. Damn. Anyways. That makes me want to cry, bro. So, lifetime, I think, achievement in, in this sport is to hit 400. And I finally did it, man. It was amazing because I was able to witness myself go from 600, 660, 700, 750, 800, 850, and then now closer to nine. So I want to just, I want to thank God, man. I was praying before I came up to the bar and I was just asking God to, to give me the strength because he's the one that empowers me. He gives me strength. I glorify, I do this for him and I'm grateful. And I just know that there's more to come. Yeah. I know this isn't where I'm gonna stop. It only makes me wanna go more, so. Feels good, man. This, however, this is not okay. This is not okay. I'm gonna cry, bro. That's right, bro. I'll buy you a new one, bro. I'll buy you a new pair. I'll buy you a new pair. Hey, he shook the hand. He shook the hand. Whoa. <laughs> Gonna do more. They don't even better. They, this chart don't even. It can't hold me. Can't comprehend me. My soul is too too wild. Come on, let's go. I'm trying to bring the breath out of you today. Let's go. Come on. themselves to me and for the people who like to watch my every move it's like what I just did right there that's loud enough and I was gonna say a damn thing like I know a lot of people like to chirp at me a lot of people like to discredit me and say this and say that but at the end of the day boom the work speaks for itself and I don't have to waste my character playing catch up with people who are irrelevant, who don't matter anymore. Because what for? It's like, I'm gonna make myself look bad. You got that? To what, being club time? That's, that's a Neanderthal way of thinking. You know, like, I'm aspiring to be a, a future businessman. You know, like, I'm, 
I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not just doing this to be strong, you know. This isn't just a hobby for me. This is my livelihood. This is my passion, you know, chasing greatness. And I'm not afraid to admit that. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I'm having a grand time, man. The weather's perfect. But gave me my... <laughs> Mikey hit a great set. Pablo just did all-time PR. Very emotional moment for me. Um, I'm winning, man. I'm, I'm doing great. But I see that, man, within yourself. That, like, you see that. You see that. see that. You see that. You see that. You see that. I think it's very powerful. All the all-time greats, that's what they embody. Because it's more than just their lifting, right? It's how they hold it. Yeah. Okay. It's winning the class. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, man. I feel like that's something that I've taken from grades from other sports, you know, like Kobe Bryant, Tom Brady. Yep. These guys don't just win on the, the field or the court, you know, they're also winning on the interviews, they're winning on the videos, they're winning when they go take their family to Disneyland, you know what I'm saying? It's not just a thing when the spotlight's on you, it's a 24 seven kind of thing. So, I mean, that's just a couple of two cents for me. And you know, and then for, for young kids, you know, like the next generation, it's like, Watch me. Watch guys like Ashley Ready? Bruce. Cook. Watch guys like Tom. Uh, I say Tom Brady. Watch guys like Taylor Atwood. You know, these are individuals who huh? perform with class. And you don't. You don't just want to be a winner. You know. You want to be able to go out there and speak with confidence on videos. You want to go out there and just be a confident individual overall. Because when you're confident in everything you do, like life is going to be a thousand times better than if you're living in a show. You know. Try to put yourself in uncomfortable situations, and I promise you, you'll learn things about yourself that you never envisioned. What's your name, bro? Yeah, no pump. <laughs> All right, Mr. Omar. Yeah. It's been a very good pleasure being here today with you. What are your thoughts of today? Uh, sensational, man. I mean, I've been observing, participating in powerlifting for well over a decade, probably actually like 13 years at this point. Um, and to see this high level, it's just simply uncommon. You do not see two people, basically 900 pounds, right? uh, and then 950 pounds for a double. But I think the story that not many people are realizing is the brother angle to me, of you kind of building each other up. And to me that's special, something that I personally identify with, having an older brother who's actually only 12 months older than myself, and very similar situation we were raised kind of as twins. Like he was the older brother, but you know what I mean? Like we were kind of like beside each other as like equals. He did look out for me, but he's the one that introduced me to lifting. So I think I think that's actually special. Like the weight is very impressive. The journey I find more intriguing. And then the end outcome is the reward for the end of everything you guys have done. So I think it's sound good. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I think I've never seen that equipment. We've been told that we're doing something special and if you would have told, if you would have asked us where we would have been like three years ago, we would have been having a match. There was a point in time where during quarantine, we worked out of this garage, open garage, no AC, small little cubicle. And we would, I have videos on my phone that we would talk like, man, if we could just get a free pair of these, if we could just get a belt or wrist straps. Something that someone could give to us to show us that whatever we're doing was appreciated and that we know that we're actually working hard. And to see where we are now today, it's awesome and it's a blessing and I'm very grateful. And it's an honor to see you again. It's no. been... Come on now, Pablo. It's an honor to be here with you, man. Yeah. It's been almost a month since you Yeah, like a month and a half, two months, something like that. But hey, this is it. I'm here for 10 days. This isn't the only time. He just doesn't know this yet, but I'm gonna get you guys to come down. Get some good food, get some good grub, good training, man. But no, I, I think what's very exciting for me is that the story isn't yet written. This is just a chapter for you guys, right? It's just story. Yeah. I, and I do see that. I like, absolutely like the age, the strength potential, how you guys keep getting stronger, the relative competition. So that's what's up, man. And I think it's fantastic for me to say, as an old head YouTuber, to get on the YouTube content, so being strong, sensational, right? Being able to convey that and talk about like life lessons, kind of get what you guys were talking about, like they just talked about being like a good example for like the youth and stuff. I think that will separate you guys even further. So it's only up from here, man. This guy, I, I could have sworn back in like 2020, I, I think I may have actually seen you on Instagram. I think you may have been walking on the beach. Hey. I think you may have. I don't know. Have you walked on the beach? I may have walked on the like beach. Like you're recording. It could have been somebody else. But I do remember a long hair in the head. Hey, there you go. Yeah.
one guy back in the day. My man. My man, anyway. Well, I don't think this is the end of the video just yet, but if you guys stuck around to watch, I appreciate you guys being in the presence of such a legend and just good people here in Austin. You know, just being here with Mike, LM, Jesus. Yeah, we'll do... Uh, it's cloudy, it feels good outside, and I just want to say if you're watching this video and you're feeling like depressed or sad or not feeling motivated, I want you to watch this video and I want you, I'm being transparent with you guys that even myself as someone who's strong, I have moments in my life where I feel sad or I feel like I can't do nothing all the day. And I want to say, man, like the only reason I was able to get out of the slump is because I was starting to read into the word, like the Bible and my faith. And I was praying to God, asking him to relieve me from the stress, to relieve me from these chains, these like spiritual, like, like negative energy that was just dragging me down. Like God didn't make us to be sad individuals. God made us to be like to, to prosper and to be joyful, to be happy, to embrace people and love everybody. And so, I just want to say, man, that I'm just very grateful and there's only going to be more days like this and, you know, the work's not done. I haven't said that phrase in a while, but work's not done. It's going to be a little closer because this is the mic. How's that? How's it look, bro? All right. Better? All right, guys. So, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Very splendid day today. I think uh, this was definitely a step in the right direction. To where we want to be uh, you know as a team you know people that we that we have around us are a team we have our family but we're also a team you know and i'm very appreciative about that and today i hit 400 a nice milestone but we're beyond that now i definitely have 410 like i know myself enough and i've been in those situations where like okay how heavy is this for how long it took me to complete the red, I know how much more I got. And today I definitely had 410. However, I'm gonna keep working. My main priority right now is just to get my deadlift better, to get my diet cleaner, to lose as much weight as I can the right weight. And that's it, man. That's the only thing on my agenda. And I will be the national champion. I'm saying that right now. Like you can go ahead and add anybody, anyone else. I will be the champ. And like I wanted, I've never wanted more than I've ever had right now. Literally, there was moments where I was, you know, didn't believe in myself. But with God, you can conquer everything. And so that's what I want to say. I want to just say my part. And it was awesome being here with the fellas, uh, being able to see Jesus PR nine fifty for two. I mean, I think Pablo's. You know, I agree with Pop, you know, I don't see any reason why if Pablo shows up and puts it together that anybody else can beat him, you know, even Frank Allen, he's a beast of a man, you know? Um, everything that we do just goes to show what can be done when you're just out here doing what you love and you're doing it with every single thing you have. And, you know, I'm pretty sure in the video, you know, where you hear Pablo get very expletive, where he talks about, you know, like, you don't need PDs to get here. You don't. And this entire narrative that everybody at the top does, or you need to be this and take that to be at this point, we're literally proving it wrong. We are walking, living embodiments of what you can do when you're relentless, when you're just uh, indomitable. You know? It's like... It's the indomitable group of will, and what we're doing aligns with God's plan that he has for us. It's like there's no telling how far we can truly take this. No matter what, no matter against who, like there's literally no telling when you have God's hand over your life, you know? And it's like something that's really been coming across my heart is like don't accredit your morals to your morality or to who you are as a man. Every man is fallible. Every man has a knee and every knee will fall. And they'll fall at the, at, at the name of Jesus, you know? When you do what you do and you say you do this for a reason, say it's because of Jesus. Like you're not us, me without Jesus, I'm a man with no compass. I have no morality, I have no standards. But it's like you have to give glory and praise to God every single time, no matter how what you do, how you do, you have to live like that. And when you can live on faith, believing every single day that God has your back, that you're gonna have food on the table, that you're gonna have money to pay for your bills, when you're gonna come into the gym, push your body to the absolute limit, 
Just do it knowing that God has your back. Whether you win or lose, God has your back. And when you can put that faith, that is when truly miraculous things start to happen. And I was telling Omar, like, I was, me and Pablo also had an extra exchange of words, you know, but it's like, when you get to that point where your body, your mind, your soul, and your emotions are all in unison, that zone is when you start to experience crazy things. That's when you start to do supernatural things. That's when you break what people deem as impossible. That's when you enter a different zone. And that's what just what we're about, man. But that's enough, you know. Uh, the guys are waiting. You know, we're about to go eat. We're going to go to the Rascal Warehouse. Maybe we get some clips. Maybe we don't. But, I mean, besides that, man, I think today was a phenomenal day. You know, it's a great day in Austin, Texas, baby. Making Austin great again. Oh, it is good. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Something in the comments now, like, let me know what you're grateful for today. Be someone with direction. So let me know what you're grateful for today. And we'll see you guys in the next one.